Okay, hello, this is uh, Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk about how to transform. If you, if you took a video in portrait, if you had your camera phone like this, and you wanted it to be like this. I, I like my videos to be in landscape because uh, the TV screen is more this shape, and if you have it in the vertical position, it will either cut off a lot of your video or you have black bars on either side or whatever. I, I really don't like that. I like it to be like this. And sometimes when you're taking videos, I, you know, I, I like to use this, this phone because it's got a pretty good camera. It seems to focus in on some of the closer stuff sometimes when I'm taking uh, science videos or whatever. And um, uh, sometimes I'll be taking things at slightly skew angles. And of course, the phone has some kind of tilt sensor in there. And it'll say, oh, it's actually more up and down. And then it'll take the video the way I don't want it. So let, let's look over here. So most of our videos are uh, landscape, but this one is uh, portrait. It's taken like this in the vertical position. Let, let's take a look at this. I'm going to bring this guy down here. And um, anyway, I, let's let's talk about Caden for a second. I, I use Caden Live for pretty much all my video editing. It's a uh, free software. It's very powerful and it has lots of functions. I'm always learning something new. Um, and uh, so I figured out how to change portrait vertical up and down into landscape so it will fill up the whole screen and uh, I was trying a few different things um, let's go under uh, crop and transform okay uh, I'm sorry crop and transform and um, I, I usually use like pan and zoom and, and rotate and so I was trying to you know if you rotate it it's, it's not going to be the right size let's try that show you how they do it the wrong way first and I believe it was uh, these are like tenth of a degree so you need to put in like 900 to rotate it so if you do that and then you do a position and zoom afterwards where you try to see the position and zoom will crop off the sides and it's just no good so you lose part of your video so let me let me throw these guys away there's a trash can there and trash can there so uh, I was fiddling around with it for a while and I finally found this function transform and transform does uh, both rotation and uh, magnification in, in one step so it doesn't chop it off I, I Kaden sometimes has some weird issues and that's seems to be one of them but so let, let's try this we're going to uh, I should probably expand this window a little bit so we can work with this this uh, function so remember when it's pink it's highlighted and so I highlighted this pink and then I okay so anyway uh, to get the transform function you want to you want to click on the video and that highlights it turns it pink and then double click on the transform and it will bring this this uh, this function up here and so this transform can uh, change the size and it can do a rotation all in one and I found that this of course, I want to put the video marker in here so I can see what we're doing, have it highlighted. Um, so it can do the rotation. Remember, it's these are tenth of a degree, so you have to type in, or are they? No, it's not letting me put 900 in. The other one was tenth of a degree. These are actually degrees. Okay, so 90 degrees rotation. and Or maybe I wanted minus 90. Okay, so that other function was minus 90. Oh, it can do opacity, it can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Let's let's uh, increase the size now. Okay, so let's say 150, I'll guess at that. And of course this shifts it off to the side a little bit, so we're gonna have to move it back with the uh, X and Y position it looks like. Minus 200. Okay, and uh, it's still not enough, is it? Minus 300. Let's see. It's hard to see exactly since this is a very dark frame. But let me, um, okay. So I think we're going in the right direction. Try minus 400, I guess. Minus 300. So you start guessing. Okay, so I'm seeing black bars here, so I haven't magnified it enough. So let's say, um, 180 percent and minus let's say 600 and so I think we're getting close to filling up the whole screen 
and you just have to fiddle with it. So you did a 90 degree rotation and then we magnify the size and we have to shift it around so it fits the, uh, the image back into the middle of it. But this is able to transform the uh, vertical uh, uh, portrait type uh, video, if you take it so your camera's like that, into the landscaped uh, horizontal type uh, video, which is what I want because all my other videos are landscape. And so um, I think this is going to do it. So anyway, here's a tip for uh, using Caden Live if you use Caden Live out there and you accidentally took your videos in vertical and you want to put them in horizontal this particular function, the transform function under crop and transform will uh, do it without chopping off the edges of the picture or doing other weird stuff. And anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes and thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Okay.